Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello Pharma aspirants welcome to GDC channel. In this video we will be studying some important chemical tests for hydrosterols, triterpenoids and fixed oils. First identification test is Salkowski test. In Salkowski test, the extract is mixed with chloroform and concentrated H2SO4 and is shaken well. In this when the lower layer which is of chloroform when the lower layer which is chloroform layer changes to red color indicates presence of steroids and when this chloroform layer changes to yellow color it indicates presence of triterpenoids extract is used here in extract few drops of chloroform and concentrated sulfuric acid is added and is shaken well a change in the chloroform layer into red color indicates presence of steroids whereas change of chloroform layer into yellow color indicates presence of triterpenoids that's what the salkowski test Another test is lieberman burcher test. In lieberman burcher test, the extract is treated with acetic anhydride. It is treated with acetic anhydride. This is D. Press extract is treated with acidic and hydride then it is boiled and cooled then concentrated sulfuric acid is added from the side of the test tube brown ring is formed at the junction of two layers brown ring at the junction of two layers is formed and green color is seen at upper layer indicating the presence of steroids and formation of deep red color formation of deep red color indicates presence of triterpenoids in lieberman burcher test extract is treated with acetic anhydride then boiled and cooled after the cooling of solution 
concentrated sulfuric acid is added from the side of the test tube. Suppose this is the test tube containing solution, then the sulfuric acid is added drop by drop from the side of the test tube. A brown colored ring formed at the junction of two layers and green color at upper layer indicates presence of steroids. Whereas formation of deep red color indicates presence of triterpenoids. Another test is Lieberman's test. In Lieberman test, extract is treated with acetic anhydride. and then boiled and cooled. After the cooling of solution, concentrated H2SO4 is added. A blue color is observed, which indicates presence of steroids. presence of steroids. Now the test for volatile oils. When the thin section of drug is dipped in Sudan third solution the oil globules acquires red color indicating presence of volatile oil Thin section of drug is dipped in the Sudan 3 solution. Oil globules acquire red color because Sudan is an oil soluble dye. Therefore, oil globules will acquire red color indicating the presence of volatile oil. Another test is thin section of drug is taken and tincture alkana test tincture alkana is added red color is observed indicating presence of volatile oil. Within a thin section of drug, tincture alkana, few drops of tincture alkana is added, a red color is seen which indicates presence of volatile oil. Test for resins. Alcoholic extract of drug is dipped in ferric chloride solution green color is observed Indicating presence of raisins.
Test for resin is alcoholic extract of test solution is added with ferric chloride solution. A green color is observed, indicating presence of resins. Test for fixed oils. In this, a thin section of extract thin section of extract is taken on slide one percent osmic acid is added in the slide and this is observed under microscope after one minute the globules appear black globules appears black in color indicating presence of fixed oil when a thin section of extract is put on the slide and 1% osmic acid is added then after 1 minute this is observed under microscope the globules appear black indicating presence of fixed oil that's all for the chemical test for the phytosterol, triterpenoids and fixed oil. Thank you for watching this video.